What is the house going to look like? What is the theme? What is the confession room going to look like? What is the bedroom going to be like? How is the kitchen area going to be? Hey, Big Boss lovers. I'm back with another video on Big Boss. Big Boss is one of the biggest, if not the biggest reality show in India. We all love to hate it. We all love to watch it. We all love to see the drama, the excitement, the tasks, the contestants, and not just the contestants, but the house. There's a lot of stuff that goes on to putting this kind of show together. It's not just the contestants. It's not just the faces. It's the people behind the scenes who put up this magnificent set year after year. And the designer behind these sets has always been Umang Kumar. This guy is very creative. Every year he comes with a different theme. And in that theme, there is like a specific concept. That concept has colors and prints and shapes and graphics. So we are really excited to talk about it. So let's get going. So Harris, there's news out that this year's Big Boss house theme is going to be an underwater like seascape kind of a theme. Now, we don't know, yeah. obviously, if this is true or untrue because pictures have leaked, but you can't even trust, you know, photographs. So before we get to that, I thought that maybe we should just go ahead and talk about some of our favorite themes from the past seasons, because as a Big Boss lovers and so many Big Boss lovers out there, you say a season's name and automatically the house comes to mind because there's certain yeah. aspects of every year's theme that still sticks out to us. So I thought it would be fun to just go down a memory lane because this is a show that we all love to binge. You know, we watch it, we follow it, and we make commentary on it. So I'm sure we have a lot to say on the theme as well. So one of my favorite themes of Big Boss has been season nine's theme. And I call this the Alice in Wonderland theme. Um, it's like whimsical. It's a little bit of fantasy. It's a little magical. And that's what I love about it. It's like transports you to a different world, I believe. My favorite parts of that house was like the outside garden area. There was like a checkerboard pattern with the grass. And I felt like that was right away taken out from Alice in Wonderland. And the couches or the seating that was in that area was also hard. Heart shape. The backs had yeah. ugly hearts, you know, on it. And obviously hearts, Wonderland, it goes hand in hand again. And also along the side, there was these stairs. And you think these stairs are leading to nowhere, but no, it's actually a balcony, like your own escape in this mad world. If I was a contestant in that season, you would have found me on that balcony at all times in my own little area. And also in the house, so many different colors, like pastels and vibrant colors, so many floral motifs around there. I really love that. It was like really uh, fun and creative. There was a lot of energy in there. If you're stuck in a house and you're going to stay there for like three months, you want to look at spaces and walls that catch your interest, bring you yeah. into it. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at a boring dead space and that's just going to make your life even more difficult. Yeah, exactly. Um, for me, my favorite most seasons um, theme was last year's uh, Big Boss 15. Now, mm -hmm. it was a full on jungle theme, but I think the way it was created, like as soon as you start, you come through this slider, you've got this jungle, you've got these um, birds flying around. Yeah. Um, it looked amazing. You've got this Param Sundari, which is that big, massive tree that people talk to and stuff. Vishwa Sundari. Vishwa Sundari. Sorry. So you've got <laughs> this big, massive, amazing Vishwa Sundari tree, like you know of, that she was very famous. Yeah. So that was just the creative side to it. But when you enter, then you've got two separate houses. So you've got this luxury house. Then yeah. you've got this non-luxury house, which is just a garden. And you've got this small kitchen in yeah, the corner. That's tough. that's tough. It's amazing. But then when you go into the luxury place, you've got these amazing facilities. You've got the massive kitchen. Mm -hmm. You've got these vibrant colors. And you've got all these trees and stuff. So it was different. It was interesting to see. Um, I love the concept of it. it. It felt like one side was poor, one side was rich, and you have to compete against each other. So just go luxury yeah. side, Milega. So it was amazing. I yeah. really liked seeing all the animals there too. You know that those pair of wings that were there, yes. like that yes. was the forefront, and even the trophy was a model off the wings. 
I loved how the contestants, when they came, they were all given like an animal to suit their personality. Yeah. You know, they wore the masks. It was really fun to see. I like that. One of my favorite parts of the house was that flamingo. So prominent. And it was there for a while. And then obviously yeah. we know that it had to be taken down because it literally was like a copy of uh, the flamingos in, uh, I think it's Miami airport. So you can't it just, was you know, kind of, yeah, you can't kind of take someone else's ideas and make it your own without obviously giving credit. But the house was really pretty. I love the trees all over the place. But you know, all those trees took away from the sunlight. Like the yeah. sun was in there all shining down on you. And I feel like you're going to be cooped up in a house. You need that sunlight to feel like, okay, I'm outside. I can breathe. You yeah, know? otherwise it gets suffocating, you know? Yeah. You need light. Light is nature. You need that energy restore yeah. inside your body. So it's it's important to have that. I quickly want to mention a season 11. The only reason I want to mention this, because I love contrast, whether it's like shapes or colors, you know, yeah. prints, textures. And this season had a lot of contrast. There was a wall of black and white pictures in the a bedroom area. And I love black and white photography. Like, I think that's really pretty. And so the contrast was a lot because obviously the room is bright in color. And then you have these photographs that are all black and white and the photo frames are all different sizes, you know, rectangular, square, yeah. elongated or not. So I thought that was really fun. And the confession room was one of my most favorite confession rooms in all of Big Boss. It was like different eyes all over the place. Like wherever you looked was a different kind of eye. And yeah. it was staring back at you. The confession room was a big part of the game. Yeah, Every definitely. Every important decision was made in there, whether you were nominating someone, whether you were saving someone, whether you were given a task. We saw a lot of the confession room. I feel like as the seasons have progressed, especially the last couple of seasons, the confession room has not been a big deal. They don't play the game the same way anymore, you know? secret nominations and all of that doesn't really happen anymore. Now they just stand in front of each other and they vote for each other. Exactly. So back in season 11, the confession room was very important and I love the eyes. It was like, you know, you're talking and you have like a thousand people staring back at you. And the big thing about Big Boss, the concept, the eye, like Salman Khan says, yes. Big Boss Ki Ankh. And it's yes. the logo itself, it rep it's an eye. So that's an important factor. So yeah. I think season 11 lifted that um, zone of Big Boss and showed us, you know, eyes are what we're all about. 100%. And you know, because they're on camera 24 seven and there's like yeah. millions of people watching them every single day. And then to replicate that in the house was really fun for me to see as well. So Kirti, I want to talk about Big Boss season 13. I actually loved the house. I think it had a great theme. It was a museum theme. Mm -hmm. And coming to like the main area, you've got like the dining area, you've got the sofa area, you've got this yeah. big massive uh, oval shaped sofa. And yeah. it's got like different takia of images and stuff like that. So that looked very interesting to me. Yeah. You've got this amazing kitchen and stuff. And it had this sort of like big massive chandelier coming down and stuff. So that looked very exciting. In the bathroom, you've got this sort of aqua sort of eyes. So they looked absolutely interesting to me as well. I mean, have you seen the house as well? Yeah, obviously I've seen the house. I followed the season. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so I feel like that season had a lot of graphic colors. Once again, there were neon colors going all over the place. There were shapes, you know, all juxtaposed yeah. on top of each other. I really loved it. And one of my favorite parts of that house, just like the Alice in Wonderland theme I talked about, are stairs. There were stairs yeah. within the house and they were leading up to a little secluded um space and that space was used a lot in this season you know both yeah. under the stairs and obviously up on top because it feels like a little bit of separation from everyone yeah. else one more thing that they had in the house was that they didn't have in any other season was the vip room that was something new to see because it's like a luxury Wait, place didn't last year the, uh, season 15 have a vip room VIP so room, good. yeah, but this was introduced in season 13, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so season 13 introduced a luxury room where you win a task and you get into mm -hmm. into this room and have all these luxuries. So yeah. I think that concept was different and it was good because then that yeah. motivated it to happen in other seasons. Yeah. And I think Uman Kumar, who creates the Big Boss house, he's such an amazing designer because he's a yeah. production designer. Yeah. He's worked in different movies and stuff. So he's absolutely amazing. Like he's just next level. And speaking of next level designs by Uman Kumar, another favorite of mine is season 12. And this is yeah. like a water nautical themed season as well. I really liked it because it had like, you know those ships that have those peak holes along yeah. the side of them? Yeah, so the kitchen counter island area had those. That was really fun to see. The ceiling had these teals these blues they were like 
fish cutouts everywhere on the wall. Yeah. You know? It was really pretty. There were so many different shades of blue. The confession room, the chair had like coral or reef, you know, whatever you want to call it. It was really pretty. And I feel like maybe Oman Kumar is going back to this kind of a theme because obviously yeah. everyone is saying it's an underwater theme. So he has already done a nautical theme, you know, water with fish and coral and all of that. I really want to see something different. Like if he does nautical this year again or underwater this year again, what else can he bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, I look forward to it as well because it's underwater. So it's like, are people actually going to be underwater? What are they going to do? What sort of environment it's going to be? The vibe, it's like an aquarium type of thing. So are yeah. there going to be actually fishes? Are there yeah. going to be like sharks walk surrounded around you and stuff <laughs> oh my god that might be a little over i don't think so but you know but it'd be fun to see it would be really imagine? cool to see exactly yeah. but i really hope that you know when they are in bed and they look up like the ceiling has some kind of like underwater you know yeah and you've got all these animals on. inside there mermaids yeah can you imagine? maybe they will come as mer people you mermaids, never know exactly you know? yeah men. That would be yeah, really fun to that'll see. That would be interesting, yeah. yeah but sure. I really hope, along with the decor, they incorporate like the themes better. Like I remember Heaven and Hell that season, I felt like Hell and Heaven were incorporated really well. Yeah. But even Gotham Gulati season, it was like this airplane theme. They stayed yeah. in that airplane for a little bit and then that had nothing to do with the show anymore after that exactly, yeah so one of the best i guess um usage of theme was last year in the jungle yeah theme. no it doubt was used again and again in some way well not really because the people that were inside uh outside they had to make a path to go to the inside house and using the map sudden, yeah the path didn't mean anything so what were they doing you know exactly so i really hope that this theme is incorporated well with the tasks and if they start a concept carry that concept out because yeah. otherwise what's the point of having a theme what's the point of having a concept it can be anything then and you know uh, i just mentioned like in the jungle theme i didn't like how there was barely any sunlight coming in everything was under studio lights i hope that this season they have some kind of sunlight coming on but if it's an underwater theme then how much sunlight will they get are they yeah. literally gonna make them look like they're inside a fishbowl <laughs> exactly <laughs> like a, a fish bowl? tank yeah exactly is it gonna be like that that would be really i guess hard because you yeah need some sunlight you'll go into depression yeah but if you realize like every season just gets tougher and tougher the experiences just get tougher and tougher yeah. so i think this one they want to suffocate them they don't want them to have su a sunlight and everything so i think that's what their plan is this time it's going to have a bit of that lockup vibe i also feel if it's an underwater theme i want to see how the bathroom is like a few of yeah. the seasons have had like a tub in the bathroom that's been used you know last season didn't have a tub maybe this year because it's water theme there'll be more of that i want to see how the pool is last year's jungle theme had such an amazing pool area with a bridge you know it actually looked like something totally different than we'd seen for this show i really hope that the pool is like some like out of the world experience yeah with a fountain well. coming through that would be amazing yes, to see. let's have a fountain let's do exactly something. so i think they should even have like a little slide coming down like you can go there and swim a water slide <laughs> A water slide, yeah. Take a deep dive through. It'll look like they're at a water park. Yeah. We'll see people flaunting themselves in the pool. It'll be really fun to see. Yeah. Hopefully the pool is used a little more. Exactly. Yeah, so I think this season, what they need to do is now they need to make extra use or more use of a confession room because yeah. looking back at previous season, it's like they never use the confession room. It's just there as, you know, like a decoration piece. It's like never in use. I think this yeah. year... What's the point of having a confession room? What's the point of having nominations if you're not going to do exactly. it that way? Exactly, because Big yeah, Boss, Big Brother is nominations about nominations. Back. I want the confession room back. I want it to be a serious thing again. I don't yeah. want people, you know, discussing it and doing it out in the open. Let's let's create some drama. 
Yeah, exactly. We want the old Big Boss Big Brother format back like it used to be 10 years ago. Yeah. We want that. And another thing I want to see is tasks actually happening and not <laughs> Yes. <done. laughs> exactly. So guys, um this is what we think about this year's theme. We're excited about it. If it's an underwater theme, uh we're not so sure if the photos that got leaked are legit photos, but if they, I hope are, they are, it's really looking pretty then. And it looks yeah. different than, you know, the previous nautical theme that was used. Let us know in the comment section what you think. What was your favorite season in terms of the house theme? Which theme did you like? Which confession room did you like? Which bedroom did you like? Follow us on Instagram. I am Paris602. Harris is? I am Harris underscore 16. Well, there you have it, guys. So like and share and comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next time with some more Big Bus content. Bye. You're like frozen <laughs> again. <laughs>